Hey guys, geeking to everyone. On this video, I'm gonna tell you about Python decorators. So, on this video, we are gonna be learning how decorators work. But before I started telling you about Python decorators, I would like to mention about first class function. So, first class functions are allowed us to treat functions like other objects. First, we can pass functions as arguments to another function. Second, we can return function. And third, we can assign function to a variable. So it's a brief information actually. Uh, I totally recommend you to check uh, information about first class function on internet uh, before watching this video. So let's start and I'm going to show you how you can use decorators and how decorators work in practical way. So I am using a Visual Studio code and let's define our first functions here. So def, uh, I'm going to call it first function. And inside this first function, firstly, I'm going to set a variable greeting and assign it a string, hello. So also I want to define another function inside the first function and I call this function second function. Okay, so uh, inside second function, I'm going to print greeting variable, which I set recently. So, and then I execute and return second function. So, by calling first function, we execute the code inside this first function. Uh, by executing this code, firstly we set a variable greeting, uh, then we define a second function, and then we execute and return second function. So, by executing this function, second function, we print a greeting variable on the output and then return it. So let's run this code. Okay, as you can see on output, hello, that means our code executed successfully. But if you want to pass an argument in the first function, let's do that. Okay, I write the argument. And assign this variable to the argument of the first function and I have to specify when I call a first function argument it's going to be hello string and I execute this code as you can see on output hello is printed so that means this code executed successfully uh, so and Let's move ahead and set a variable first and assign this variable to the first function calling. Okay, and let's set another variable, name it second and assign first function with a different argument. Okay, and when we run this code, as you can see, it was executed successfully. So instead of executing second function and return it, let's just return the second function without executing it. We can do that by taking away parentheses. Okay, we taken away parentheses of second function and it, in this way, second function not gonna be executed 
just returning and waiting to be executed. Literally, second function is gonna be hello, I wanna be executed, just executed me. Okay? So, to execute second function, you have to call variable first and second way variable second. Let's do that. Okay, if you call first variable, as you can see on output, it's a hello printed. Let's execute second variable. As you can see, hi printed. So the decorators are really similar what we done here. But what is a decorator? A decorator is a function that takes another function and extends the behavior of the latter function without explicitly modifying it. Let's upgrade our code. Let's call it decorator function. function. Uh, we delete this variable. So, and we rename this second function to wrapper function okay inside wrapper function we're gonna call and return our function wrapper function Okay, let's uh, define a function greeting and this function is gonna print hello world. Okay. Okay, there is a mistake. Okay. So let's call a decorator function and pass in greeting function as argument. Okay. Okay. And execute this code. As you can see. Okay, let's just clean it. One more time. As you can see, uh, the this string has not been printed. Why it's happened like that? It's because by calling decorator function, we execute the code inside. So inside the code, we define wrapper function and return this function, wrapper function, without executing it. So if we want to execute wrapper function, we need to assign uh, variable and then we have to call this decorator variable like that. Uh, by this calling, we execute wrapper function and then this wrapper function return uh, our function and our function is the argument we pass greeting function so by this we have to see on the our screen hello world let's check it out okay as you see on the terminal we can see hello world that means our code successfully executed. 
So this is a basic decorator example here. But why we need to do that? Actually, decorating our function allow us to easily add functionality to existing function by adding some functionality inside the wrapper function. Let's check it out how it works. We can add some functionality inside wrapper function. For example, if you want to print like add some some functions okay and execute this code as you can see on the terminal you can see this string had some functions you know by adding this additional functionality in our code in our wrapper function we did not modify our uh, greeting function we just add extra code inside you know and it's so useful so easy and mostly you see decorators like add decorators function like that here it's a symbol add then you have like the decorator function mostly you see it like that but it's the same thing as I greeting so it's the same thing as that thing so but if you do things like that and then you call greeting as you can see on your terminal screen you can see there is a extra code and the code of our function so it works like that so guys thanks for watching my video about python decoration so it's uh, just a basic video i hope you enjoy it and if you like to get in more information about linux or python don't hesitate to check my channel and uh, learn more information about python and linux thanks ciao ciao